So I'm here with pop star, rapper, DJ, Alicia G. How are you doing today? I'm doing absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for having me. It's a complete pleasure and honor. Of course. Like, uh, this is my first time interviewing you. So, like, uh, where did you grow up? I actually, sorry, it's being adjusted here. I grew up actually in upstate New York. Upstate New York. Okay, like uh, Buffalo? Yes, I don't like to the exact location, but yes, near Niagara Falls, near Canada, upstate New York, yes. Okay, um, and I know like you started doing pageants like really early. Yes, I did. I actually started participating in beauty pageants. I was so little, my mother actually carried me on stage since 11 months old. I was competing across the country doing beauty pageants. Definitely, and what was uh, your earliest memories of like competing in beauty, pa beauty pageants? Um, so there's so many great memories. I can't even think of just one. Um, just probably the biggest memory of having my mom and my dad always cheering me on and all the love and support, the coaching, the hair and makeup, the custom design wardrobe, everything was just, it's awesome. Being in front of all these people, being so little and performing, entertaining. I always love to be on stage and entertaining. That's uh, excellent. And you are an excellent entertainer. You know, there's a lot of people though who feel that uh, beauty pageants, you know, they're, they're um, I don't know like, you know exactly the word, but like uh, they're, demeaning to women, you know, and stuff and everything. Like, I don't, I don't feel that way and stuff and everything. I think they're, they're awesome. But like, you know, what would you say to people who, who think like that? Um, everyone has the right to their own opinion. I'm not going to argue with you. You know, you feel what you feel. I feel differently personally, but I grew up doing beauty pageants. Um, I feel it brought a lot of stage presence and confidence, confidence and stage presence that I would not have had unless I did do the beauty passion since such a young age. So I love it. And it gave me a real charm and charisma where I can go on stage, on any stage and light up any stage. That's uh, excellent. And um, then you were on a 2008 episode of ABC's Wife Swap. Uh, can you yeah. talk about that? Oh, joy. No. <laughs> um, yeah, that was absolutely crazy because that show, well, I, I, was, I was a child and my mom and dad were the parents, the mothers. So my mom and the other family swapped places before getting on that whole reality show. We never seen the show. We never seen the show and we went on the show. Basically, my dance teacher um, at the time, she was a choreographer for the Buffalo Jills, which are the Buffalo, Buffalo Bills cheerleaders that actually are no longer, we do not have cheerleaders. The Buffalo Bills do not have cheerleaders anymore. But she was the coach at the time. She got, you know, random casting calls here and here and here. I was an extremely active, busy child between well, obviously, well, yes, school. I had cheerleading, dance, tap, jazz, ballet, acrobatics, um, gymnastics, and pageantry, which is so different. And I also did voice lessons and piano lessons. I was so busy. And she did this little thing. Hey, guys, I don't want to be on this reality show. And we're just like, sure. You know, I'm never thinking of billion years. She ran up to my mom and me, the dance teacher, and she's like, you, you guys, you guys gotta be in it. We're just like, uh, yeah, you, you know, we're just kind of like, eh. And um, like, okay, here's our email. They emailed us like this a day or two after. We emailed them some pictures, you know, the pageantry stuff, what, all that type of stuff. And within a week, they said we had to have your family. And within like two or three weeks, we were filming a whole episode. It was crazy. 
Um, it went from being something supposed to be like a fun experience to living hell, a nightmare. Overnight, I became the most bullied, hated person in the entire school. Uh, I was bullied so bad, I went through living hell and back, but at the end of the day, it made me the person I am today. Uh, it's, it's very scripted. They made me out to be this very spoiled, ratty, privileged child, and it was scripted, it was fake, and everyone believed it. Right, and uh, a lot of people don't realize that, like, you know, reality TV is scripted, that they have these storylines, and, you know, they're just trying to make good television, and, like, you know, a lot of times and stuff, the things that you see on reality TV, they're not even, you know, uh, is not based in reality, and, you know, the producers don't really care, they're just trying to make good television. Uh, did you feel like you own stuff that you were exploited, like, you know, by ABC? I was definitely exploited as a child, yes. In that show, to the extreme, because people believed it. I mean, there is a part where they said, oh, Christmas every day. Um, yes. Now, hear me out before you say anything. We do keep a Christmas tree up year round, 365 days a year, 24 seven. They flipped it to say, oh, Christmas every day. Oh, she gets a gift every day. No, this is the real reality behind the tree. Um, my grandmother, who I actually called um, Mama, she loved, the holiday of Christmas. She loved Christmas. And after she passed away, we didn't, to keep her memory, like to feel like, you know, cheering me on at all times, like right. her spirit, happy memory of my grandmother was like, leave the Christmas tree up. And they switched that into Christmas every day. They went as far as wrapping up a little gift, <laughs> giving it to my mother, putting it under the, under the tree, have me say, what did you get me today for Christmas, Mama? When really it was just a happy memory of my grandma. So there's no reality on reality. I take one thing and magnify it, all for views and ratings. So don't right. believe everything on TV. Yeah, 100%. Like I've, I've seen that. And, um you know, you talked about being bullied uh, to the point you actually had to change schools. Uh, what was some of the worst things you experienced, you know, from bullies? Like, I went into school and I, I didn't know names existed. I was called such bad names. <laughs> like, oh my God, it, it was hell. Um, but name calling is one thing, which no one should be called any name. But then it started being physically like pushed into lockers, books being thrown at me, um, food thrown at me. I couldn't even eat in the lunchroom. It went as far as being pushed down a flight of stairs. <laughs> yeah, for, by a guy, not a girl, by a guy. The girls told him to do it. Um, it was crazy. Then it went as far as such a crime of like bullying to the extreme where I was actually dragged by a car over 12 feet on pavement where I actually had second degree burns in my body. I'm so sorry that that happened to you. And um, you also were receiving hate mail as well. Oh my God. We had cherry bombs in the mailbox. Our car was paintballed. Um, they egged our house, you know, toilet paper, TP, whatever they call that stuff. Um, it was stalker letters, hate mail, just, oh, off. <laughs> it was, it was hell. That's horrible. You know, how did you um, get to a point where like you could uh, turn your life around and get to a sense of normalcy? I feel I just surround myself with positive people. I, I live by this. I believe in it. 
every day when I set off one of my daily broadcasts, go you know, push out negativity, push in the positivity. The best is yet to come. Just believe and never, ever, ever give up nor take no for an answer. I just kept the goal there, what I want to do, and just kept that goal there in mind and just kept going no matter what was said to me, what was done to me. I just kept being out of bed each and every day just knowing there's a light at the end of the tunnel and it's going to get better. It's going to be okay. That's such a powerful message. And uh, I think that radiates through your music. You know, uh, like I was listening to like, you know, uh, some of your music and stuff and everything a little bit before uh, earlier in the day. And I was really impressed. I really love uh, your new song, In a Circle. Can you talk about like, you know what I mean? And stuff, the, uh, recording a song and shooting a video. Thank you. Um, it, I just feel I've been through so much. I'm just like, you know what? I'm not going to hold back. I'm just going to do me, have fun, and just, just do it. I don't care what the people say. No one, not every, no one, not every, I'm so sorry. Not everyone will like your music. I get that. There's always going to be haters. I get that. But at the end of the day, you just got to keep going, keep pushing. And if you're happy, I'm happy. Whoever that person's happy, then you know what? Be happy. Do you, be you, and throw it in a circle. <laughs> Most definitely, Alicia. <laughs> Thank you uh, so much for taking the time and stuff, and everything, and just keep pushing. Like your music is dope. Like you know, uh, I really like you know think you're a true talent, and uh, your message is very powerful. And uh, I really appreciate you taking the time. Thank you so much. I appreciate. It. Thank you for having me. Most definitely. Pleasure. Let's do it again sometime. Absolutely. Take care. You too. Remember, guys, all social media, Alicia G World www.lishdworld.com is to all social media, merchandise, music, and more.